Hi everyone, much wetter for the second half of the day today. We started off with some sunshine and decent weather and then things took a turn for the worst. We got the thunderstorms and the heavy rain and even some stronger thunderstorms way out east of the metro with heavy rain reported from Oskaloosa down to Ottumwa and up into Powashi County as well. Some minor flash flooding reported in those areas. We will still watch for rain as we go throughout the remainder of the evening and through the overnight hours into early Sunday morning as well. A flash flood watch is still in place. It'll stay in place through the evening and it should expire early tomorrow morning. That just means that we could see flash flooding as a result of heavy rain that sticks over one area for a longer period of time. The showers are still going to continue, particularly east of the metro through 10 p.m. We will still have more waves of showers moving through overnight. And I do think we will start our day off with some scattered rain on Sunday. The thunderstorm aspect of this will go away, but it will still be rainy for the start of Monday. It'll be cloudy, it'll be windy, and it'll be chilly as well. Those showers should move out as we go throughout the afternoon tomorrow. It'll be a 60% chance for rain. Monday should be mainly dry with a 30% chance for rain at night, an 80% chance for showers and storms again on Tuesday, and thankfully Wednesday should be entirely dry. In fact, we still have a lot of rain on the way between now and Wednesday morning. Anywhere between two and five inches of rain will be possible, so still going to have very saturated conditions. Unfortunately, not good news for the areas that have been hit so hard with the rain, and of course for farmers who are a little bit worried about getting started a little later with the planting season. Tonight, we're looking to be cooler, a low near 55. Rain stays likely overnight. Take a look at what happens with temperatures. We're going to fall into the 50s by 7 a.m. tomorrow, 40s off to the north, and our day stays chilly by 4.30 tomorrow afternoon. Most of us will still be in the 50s, and then the temps plummet even more. For 7 a.m., 7.30 a.m. Monday morning, we could be in the upper 30s to low 40s, and it'll be windy as well. We got to talk about wind chills again on Monday morning. Absolutely well below average. We'll be looking for highs to return to the 60s by Monday afternoon. So we can call it weather whiplash, if you will. A high only near 58 tomorrow, 63 on Monday, up to 66 Tuesday with showers and storms expected. I think Wednesday finally will be a pretty decent day, and then we'll start to heat up again as we go towards Memorial Day weekend. But you guessed it, that comes with several more opportunities for showers and storms.